Welcome to Flow Motion with Marie. We are on the fourth and final part of our Supple Spine and Strong Back series. We ended last week's video in Downward Facing Dog, so that's where we're starting today. Let's take a few moments to inhale fully and exhale completely. Breathe in. Breathe out. Firm the balls of your feet into the ground. Remember the heels don't have to touch your mat. Your hips are the highest point in this posture. So think like you want to sit on the ceiling. That's how high you want your hips to reach. Hands firm into the ground. And we'll bend our legs and look forward. Walk forward as lightly as you can and lower your seat to your mat. As we sit down, reach the legs forward toward the front of the mat and lay your hands alongside your hips. We'll take a pose called Dandasana. Just seated, legs forward, torso long and simply gaze at one point in front of you. We're emulating length here. The length in the straightened legs, the length in your spine, the torso, your arms, the neck. So sit up tall and reach long. Reach your arms forward, bend both legs. Take an inhale to prepare and exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift, exhale, lean. Breathe in and breathe out. We'll do this two more times. Continue to lift and lean back. Now lift, let's add a twist. Bend your right elbow and reach it back and come up the center. Reach back the elbow and lift up tall. As you pull the elbow back, you're reaching the left arm forward. So two directions taking place. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Reach forward and we'll switch sides. Lean back, left elbow reaches back and come up. Lean back, elbow back, lift up. Reach back, come upright. Twist, elbow reaches, lift up tall. Reach back one more time and come up to center. Bring your hands behind your thighs, lean back and lift the feet off of the floor. If this is too much, you can leave your feet down on the ground. You can release the arms and reach them forward or keep them where they were. But either way, we find our version of boat pose. Legs may straighten or not, I'm keeping mine bent today. We breathe and lower. Bring the soles of your feet together so your feet can be far away from the pelvis. Lean forward and then stay here. We are giving space to the back body. We'll inhale. Complete exhale. And come up. Bring the hands behind us. Let the fingertips point to the back of your mat. Feet on the ground. Take an inhale here. Open up the chest and exhale. Lift your hips. Your first attempt might not feel comfortable, so adjust what you need to adjust. The base, either your hands or your feet, so that you can find a position where you feel you can hold the pose. I'm bringing my feet back so that the heels are underneath the knees so that knees are stacked over heels and there's a little bit more stability there. Hips are lifted. This is called reverse tabletop. Gaze upward, keep your neck long, head in line with neck, in line with spine. And we let this go. Lower the hips. We relax the legs and do a few shoulder rolls. We're giving space in the front and back at the shoulders. Let's bring the soles of our feet on the ground. 
If you have a block, then take your block please in between the hands. If you don't have a block, that's fine. So if you have a block, take the block in between your palms, lean back and reach the block away from you as you lean and lie all the way back onto your mat. So if you don't have a block, the arms just reach away from you. Rearrange your ponytail if you have one so that your head lies flat on the ground. Legs bend, lift your hips and take your hips over the block. You can have your block really low or in its middle setting or at the highest setting. Roll the shoulders back to free the base of your neck. No worries if you don't have a block. Roll up a thick blanket and put it underneath your pelvis. You can use a pillow or anything that can get your hips higher than your chest. This is a supported bridge pose. Bear in mind here that if you need to shift things around to feel more stable, then do so. Whether it's walking the feet closer to you or shrugging your shoulders around until you hit the sweet spot, so to say. With the support of our block or whatever prop you're using, we're able to bring space and expansion to the chest. Let's bring our hands to the ribs and feel how the ribs expand when you inhale and how they contract when you exhale. Now we'll add a little change here. Press the elbows into your mat and lift up your hips so you can take the block away from underneath you. The hips remain high, fingers on your ribs. Really reach the ribs into your hands as you straighten your legs. Ribs still remain high Lower the hips, but you're staying in this chest opener. Elbows push into the mat so that you can lift the chest higher and perhaps, just perhaps, come onto the crown of your head. If you're uncomfortable with that, then take the previous posture where the back of the head remains on the ground. Your spine is in full extension here, the front side of your body open and spacious. Press your elbows into the mat, and then carefully we'll lower the upper body all the way down to the mat. We'll bend the legs here, wiggle the hips around. We'll shake things out, shake out your hands and arms, or roll the shoulders as we come into final posture. Let your legs turn out naturally. They can be as wide as the mat, your palms face the sky. We inhale deeply. Exhale. We've come to the end of this Supple Spine Strong Back series. Stay in this position for as long as you need to, and when you're ready to come out of it, then roll to one side and press up to seated position. Thank you for joining me in Flow Motion, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!